Now we need to subtract mixed numbers. So we have two and three quarters minus one and two thirds. But to subtract fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. So we need to find a common multiple of four and three. 12 is in both the four and the three times tables. So we can find equivalent fractions to three quarters and two thirds, which have a denominator of 12. We use multiplication to find equivalent fractions and four times three is 12. So we do the same to the numerator and three times three is nine. Now three times four is 12. So if we do the same to the numerator, two times four is eight. So we can rewrite our question. Instead of two and three quarters, we can write two and nine twelfths because that's equivalent to three quarters. So nine twelfths is the same size as three quarters. We're subtracting one and two thirds, but we can change that to one and eight twelfths because eight twelfths is equivalent to two thirds. So now we start by seeing if we can subtract our fractions. 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths is 1 twelfth because the denominator stays the same and 9 minus 8 is 1. Now if we look at our whole numbers, we have 2 minus 1, so that's one whole in our answer, 1 and 1 twelfth. Now 2 and 3 fifths minus 1 and a half. So we need the denominators to be the same and the lowest common multiple of five and two is 10. So we can find equivalent fractions which have a denominator of 10. Five times two is 10, three times two is six, two times five is 10 and one times five is five. So we can rewrite our question as two and six tenths because that's equivalent to three fifths, minus one and five tenths, because that's equivalent to one half. Now we see if we can subtract the fractions. So we have six tenths minus five tenths, which is one tenth, and two minus one is one. So our answer is one and one tenth. And we can show fraction bars to see what we did here. So first we started with two and three quarters. Three quarters is the same as nine twelfths, and we were subtracting one and two thirds. Two thirds is the same as eight twelfths, and we subtracted that first to get one twelfth as our fraction. Then we subtracted the one whole to get one and one twelfth as our answer. Then we started with two and three fifths, but we saw that three fifths is the same as six tenths. We're subtracting one and a half, but a half is the same as five tenths. So if we take five of those tenths away, that leaves us with one tenth in blue. And if we subtract the one whole, that leaves us with one and one tenth as our answer.